down. Welcome back to the Daily Rundown. Now, in a surprising move, Dermot O'Leary is returning as presenter of The X Factor just one year after leaving the series. The British TV per per personality, even, who has been reportedly offered a deal worth 1.5 million, joined the show. <laughs> I've got some whistles outside there, don't <laughs> I? Uh, joined the show in 2007 before deciding to leave in 2014. Is this, do you think this is one of those, uh, what's that stupid expression? Flogging a dead horse. <laughs> is the X Factor not finished? Well, yeah, I feel as though, particularly with the last series, I don't know that, that people... Did you watch have, it? Well, sort of. People would have tired of the format, I guess. So people have it literally tired. hasn't changed, has it? No, the no, entire no. Time. And I guess he, he's, he's Simon Cowell's for when he changed it up last time, because he got different people, he got different, you know... Got Ollie Moore Ollie is Moore and, and Caroline, Caroline, Caroline Black. Black. Yeah. And, um, and so he's, he's obviously thought, well, I did switch it up, I did make changes, but now they've just gone and got the same presenter back again. So, I mean, what? I feel like they're just like, you know, you're like, just like yeah. a dishcloth. Ringing just, it out. Yes, yeah, Every yeah. last drop. Like, and Dermot's agreed to do it because... They've well, that, loads I mean, of money. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do yeah. it, uh, I mean, Simon? Nice. Uh, let me think about that. How much? Uh, okay. Yeah. Like I love Dermot, and he's an amazing TV presenter. He is, he is the best he is, of the best. He is. Um, I love Dolly and Caroline on the show. I thought they brought a completely so different vibe. Yeah. You do proper comparison because I. Oh. I do. I'm a big X Factor fan. I like these kind of shows. Right. Okay. I am a little bit sick of them, to be fair. And I think X Factor is yeah. kind of slightly, you know, it needs a rest. I don't know whether or not changing the presenters. A rest. Would well, you say, like, gone and come well, back? Well, just maybe turn it off for a couple of yeah. years, you know? Because that's what Darren Valeri su suggested, I yeah, believe, doesn't it? I think it, yeah. it just makes sense, you know? It's been flogged, and it's like, how many more amazing singers are there hidden away? Yeah. I don't know any of them anymore. I don't know. I mean, did the reaction that, start there? I, don't know. I watched The Voice on the weekend, and it was incredible, yeah. and the yeah. talent was amazing, so... New format, and, though, Yeah, it? yeah and you see that, yeah, and the voice is coming up, because the voice started, and everyone was like, oh, God, you know? And it, yeah. The, but then it kind of slowly just... Built and kept going. Now ITV have bought the voice, right? Yeah. And that's going to ITV. Oh, I didn't know which that. Which is strange. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what they're going to. So then surely that just means that they're getting rid of X Factor. Why would. They can't have both, surely. Yeah. Well, they probably tried to, and Simon's well, yeah. like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I guess so, they, they have the other. Britain's got talent, don't they? So yes. They don't run at the same time, though, are they? No, no. So, but it's like. It's there's like, probably a gap in the year somewhere where there's no. There's no gap. There's, ever, there's just a reality Let's program. Let's have a gap. Let's have a gap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. So, yeah. Why do you think Ollie and uh, Caroline failed? Because they were so popular doing the Extra Factor, weren't they? I actually used to watch that sometimes, having not watched the X Factor. Because I like their banter. I don't think they did fail. I just think, you know, the yeah. ratings weren't as good as they were previous years right. because these people are watching TV and at least pe people are probably watching the show live. Most yeah. people watch it on their timelines and on their Snapchats and everything else you've got. And I think it is just tired, you know, it is. Yeah. The whole format. Yeah. You just look at the at the, the format of people um, becoming pop stars after the show. You've got a winner and then you've got to deal with them everywhere promoting their single and getting number one. And that was the cycle that we were used to. Someone would win X Factor, and then they'd get a Christmas number one. And then there'd be an album, and then you just hit. Now, obviously, last year, I don't know if she even made no, the it top yeah, 10. Just or not. Who, who yeah, just was it? It was, um, uh, it was Louisa girl. Johnson. Right, yeah. yeah. The and, song's really good, actually. And, and she was a really good singer, yeah. like vocally, she was great, but. It was just, I, I think people were, I mean, when that Rage Against the Machine thing happened, do you remember that? <laughs> that was, the, that, that, yeah, that was yeah. amazing. And that, that was, was amazing. I think that was the start of people saying, well, yeah, maybe we don't, you know, we, you don't have to have these people as Christmas number one constantly, or you don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to buy every of the, these just because they won the competition. Everything changed at the same time, though, didn't it? Kind of obviously downloads and everything like, mm. and so it kind of all it's all working against X Factor, I guess. Yeah. Is is Walsh coming back, Mr. Walsh? Louis Walsh is on board this is year. Louis, was, it, was he gone? He was gone last yeah, year. So back. they brought him back as well. I, I, I don't so. know. That could be. I could be making that up. I don't no, know. he's no, definitely back. Should we call yeah. him? Yeah, give him a <laughs> okay. give him a quick. I'll bring the Irish hotline here. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I think right. we. Uh, <laughs> You actually calling the Ross? Th oh, you know what? As scary as this is, I think I do have his number. We're gonna hold it up to the <laughs> camera. So if you want to get that up, I'm making you hold that up to the camera. But um, you know, we shouldn't do that. It's yeah. gonna end in tears. <laughs> it's gonna end in tears. So yeah, it's 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 a weird one. But uh, if he's trying to reinvigorate it, he's just getting the same old. Stuff in so Louis Walsh and Dermot, you know. Bring so back to Lisa. Who else has been yeah. on? Well, I mean, yeah. don't, for me, Call I a pop idol again. now and again somebody will share. You know, oh, she's such an amazing. And this is how I generally get to see anything off 
from X Factor. Um, the YouTube video. You know, the sad story, whatever. Yeah. And then she comes out with an amazing voice. And yeah. I'm just sick of it. Yeah, the hunchback comes care. out. And, she's yeah. like, and then she's got an amazing <laughs> voice. <laughs> Or 50 million things that happened to yeah. me before I came uh, here today. I don't yeah, care. My dog ate my nan or something. Yeah. No, yeah. I did really... stumble across the um, Susan Boyle clip the other day. Yeah. Of yeah, her first audition, good. I watched that. And that was, was it 10 years ago, I think? What? No, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, would have been. Yeah, and, been. You know, and I still got little warm and fuzzies you get, you from get, that. You so. get, but you do, you do. You yeah. can't really fight it. It's that That's human thing. That's the play on, though. I think yeah. that manipulation put me off. And they play up the music. They build up the music. Exactly. And then, you know, Suddenly the elbow or cold play suddenly building up. It's an emotional roller coaster. We can't handle it. It is an emotional. We need a break from it. That was Britain's Got Talent, was it? Susan Boyle. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah. she like, who are the big stars? Who who got the, the most out of this? But they're never the people who win the competition. No. That's Susan true, Boyle, yeah. she never won. No. Yeah. Um, it's massive. Um, the la the, that one recently Fleurist. with the ben, yeah, Fleur and Ben hits. Ben, ben Hay now. now. He was first. She was second. She was obviously much better than him. Right. But he won because everyone loves a. Cheapy, uh, cheeky painter and decorator. So he won, and then obviously after it, his musical career is, you know, just but dead in the water. Better than me. What, where, what did Jedward did Jedward do well? That what, why I missed the whole Jedward thing. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I yeah, wasn't living here. Either. No, no I've been did, introduced to them. Well, they then. did very well for themselves. I think they're still doing they, good. They were about like fifth or sixth in the competition or something like that. But they kept going on uh, because, you know, the novelty factor and because people That's wanted to watch them. Well, were, they, were they the X Factor though or were they Britain's Got Talent? No, they were X Factor. It's so confusing. That doesn't um, make sense to me. Well, I suppose the whole point is it, well, fine, yeah. X Factor. And they were personalities, their personalities came through, so they got a lot of work after it and we're still talking about them now. Well, I was in Glasgow at the weekend and uh, I was walking down Sucky Hall Street and there's, they, there's a, the Apollo Art, the O2 Academy. Mm. It was three in the afternoon and said Jedward at 7 p.m. <laughs> There's a queue <laughs> yeah. down the street. Yeah. I, there must have been a meet and greet or something because I can't have a queue to go and stand just to see the concert. But even at that, why? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was all gone. You know? How was the show? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was there by flag. Yeah. You know. But they're probably still making a killing. They are making a killing. They are. That's the thing. I think and they've, had, the they've been on loads of TV shows and they've had their own TV, kids' TV show. Yeah. So ultimately, when it comes back, then you're already on board, are you? You watch it every well, year anyway. Well, do, the thing is that you kind of get sucked into these things. I, I didn't think yeah. I'd ever watch The Voice, and yeah. you know, I'm watching it on Saturday night, and I'm going to watch it next week. You know, it's one of those things. So if it's on, I'll probably watch it. Do I think it needs a rest? Yes, but Simon's not going to rest it, is he? Well, we see what Dermot can do for it this yeah. year. He's had his year off. Maybe he'll bring back we some like amazing stuff. We, we, like we love Dermot. We love He's Dermot, awesome. of course. All right, thanks, guys. We're going to go into our last story now of the evening. After 10 months and $26 million, New Zealand has decided to keep its current flag with 1.2 million votes in its favour. Prime Minister John Key said he was a bit disappointed. He refused his suggestion that the process had been a waste of time and money or that he'd approach it differently with the benefit of hindsight. So here's what the New Zealand flag looks like. Hey! <laughs> Stu standing up here and saying... <laughs> Saluting. Um, so what was the issue with this in the first place? Now that's the so, second one. So that was the option. That, that was, was the, the option. That was the, the option, option was that it? was gone up against. So basically, this is this is how I see it, and I've only really appreciated this since I've been back in the UK. Australia and New Zealand are two very different countries, very different. We're very rivals, very much like the English and the Irish, yeah. especially when it comes to sport. Those two flags are very similar, and at you know international sporting events, quite often people get it wrong. They put up the wrong flag, and there is nothing mistakes, worse yeah. than seeing the Australian flag when you're a New Zealander. Right. Right. <laughs> there was that kind of side of it, and um, you know, like we, we're all about the, uh, about Britain and Great Britain, but it was just kind of New Zealand having its own unique flag. You know, lots of other countries have done it, and so yeah, I'd, it's a shame it didn't work out. You, I don't so know if that you, was the best. Would you have gone for the other one? Well, I just I don't. I've had arguments with my mum on FaceTime about this for the last week. It's been quite intense in the Tolden household. I mean, it was, a, it was a big referendum. Oh, it was huge. It was huge. A year in the making almost as well. And it was it? very close. The, the vote was very close. And, and John Key, the Prime Minister, did point out that the turnout for the vote was incredible. It was one of the biggest turnouts I've had. So mm -hmm. the people were very passionate about it. Yeah. Um, I asked my mum, who's um, you know over 60, I said, out of my nephews, George and Oscar, it's them that we're you know voting for. It's you know they're ten and eleven. It's it's their future. Yeah. You know, do they want the Union Jack? Do they want this flag, or do they want something New Zealand? And I think that's when she kind of went, oh, I might have voted so wrong. She, so, oh <laughs> yeah, right, but, so she did. She oh, wanted yeah. to hang on to it. I think it, it's hard. I mean, change like that is quite difficult, though, isn't it? If you, you know. I don't know, your, the flag just seems, that's the flag you, if it's the flag you've known your whole life, you don't really sometimes think about the significance of it actually, stupidly as it sounds. Yeah. You don't really think about how significant it is today, maybe. Mm. I mean, what I was kind of reading about the New Zealand flag was that it just only really represents 
the British heritage of New Zealanders, right? Yeah, I mean, right. There's, yeah. there's obviously more right. people there, so mm. including the Maori population, which were the indigenous. Indeed, people the there. Maori people, and so and there is a Maori flag as well, which is which is flown quite often at New Zealand events. Like, what what flag did you prefer if you were in New Zealand? What one would you like to see? The the one with the Union Jack or the one with the silver fern? I well, like the, I like the second one. I like the second one. You like the new one, the new yeah, option? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the new option. We know we we had we did there was a third option with our oh no, please don't show Emmy. this. Oh, that's the, the that's the one that, we that's, that's the one we got. That's what Emmy decided she wanted. Our producer. That was a which, serious option. So, that was a serious. Well, option. they asked the people that in New Zealand to put some creative ideas together, and it's like you know naming a boat, boating McBoat face. Yeah, the people but, come out <laughs> and they they get a laser dance party. What was that? Was that kiwi? That was the kiwi shooting with, lasers out of its eyes. Out of its eyes, yeah. What's what's the what, laser represent? Um, I presume, no, Future good night, the Hacienda, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah, have a look. Well, they just wanted to make, this. they wanted to make it badass, I guess, they wanted to make the Kiwi yeah, kind of, you know, cool. What's it Let's add some Maybe, lasers. Is it lasering the old flag out of our oh, vision? Yeah. Yeah, you cool. know, it's, it's lasered it away. I was going to say it's the dodo, I thought it was. A, a my, what? I thought it was a dodo. What's a dodo? The bird. Oh, dodo. the dodo. Oh, dodo bird. Oh, oh, dodo. Dodo. It's extinct, it's no. extinct now. So. Right. Was the dodo not from New Zealand? Are you thinking the moa? No. There's another bird. Oh, we need someone to check. That was that a kiwi. That's a kiwi. That's all we need. The flightless bird. The kiwi bird. The kiwi bird. It's a flightless bird. A flightless well. bird. A kiwi bird. Yeah. Um, but they don't shoot lasers out their eyes. No, that's, that was <laughs> only. Well, for the I guess flag. that's misrepresentative then, so it's probably better not to have it on the flag if it's not true. No, wouldn't that look incredible, you know, if New Zealand wins, when they do win it, they, the, the Olympics or the gold, they're raising the flag, and next minute there's a Kiwi with lasers, you know? <laughs> yeah. And some big dance track playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, great. You can make loads of like animatronic robot Kiwis shooting big lights out their eyes. Be amazing. <laughs> well, New well, Zealand, just just for people who don't know, what was, the, um, what was the significance of the fern? That's the. Is that the symbol? Well, the silver fern is, oh, I don't know all the official words for this. Oh. But the silver fern is it's a, it's a, from a tree in New Zealand, right. the fern tree. Right. And that's just, I think it's a natural plant. Right, okay. And then I'm, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm probably going to say, that makes sense. Well, I just don't, yeah, there's probably, yeah, but to me, that's what it means to me. In the back of the, because I know I've got in my house in New Zealand, I've got some ferns, and you've turned the fern over, it's silver on the back. Right, okay. And so, yeah. How well, do you think, so just sort of, um, how do you think the general reaction is going to be? Is, is that it now, though? Well, it's, a, yeah, it's, because it was very close. Now. And it was very close. And, yeah, it's the, yeah. Like you watch when you watch the All Blacks play and win the like the World Cup and stuff. They're always wearing black and they've got the silver fern on the netball team. It's all about the fern, and so to incorporate the fern would have been amazing. But the people have spoken, and maybe next time the Union Jack stays. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Don't thank put my mum through that again. There won't be a next time. Oh no, she's made her decision now again in hindsight, hasn't she? Thank you very much for that, guys. Uh, we're going to go for a break now. When we come back, we have our special interview. Don't go away. <laughs> 